Hey guys, welcome to my 33 week bump date. Seven more weeks to go until baby gets here and time just seems to be flying by. This week, baby is the size of a pineapple or he is also the size of a junior tennis racket. Which, yes, I understand junior tennis rackets are smaller than a normal racket, but that still seems like huge to me. This week, Baby is basically almost at his birth height. He just seems to put on a little bit more weight. Um, he's a little under five pounds right now. I think he's like more like four and a half pounds this week. His bones are continuing to harden to get ready for birth. And also he is keeping his eyes open more while he is awake and he's also having times of like a schedule of being awake and then being asleep. So that's what's going on with him this week. For me, um, my biggest symptom this week is I am super thirsty. I am just drinking water like crazy. I usually just drink water and then I'll put a little bit of like Mio, which are just like little water sweeteners. They don't have sugar in them, but they just like flavor the water. And so I've been drinking like tons of cups a day of those. I mean, I have this big tumbler that I carry around with me and I've just been drinking like crazy. Oh my gosh. It's just like ridiculous how thirsty I am all the time. I just took a big drink and I'm already thirsty again. I am peeing a lot more since I am drinking a lot more, but I don't feel like it's like that much more of a noticeable thing. I am peeing in the middle of the night and I'm not sleeping the best at night. Um, last night I got up at 5 a.m. to pee and then I got back in bed and I just couldn't fall asleep. I had Hamilton songs stuck in my head, couldn't get them out. I had TikTok songs stuck in my head and then I was just thinking about all the things that are coming up that we need to get done. Um, especially because we're selling our house and so it's been a little stressful and crazy lately. My back pain has been on and off. There were a couple days this week where I didn't even think about back pain. It really wasn't that bad. I didn't need to wear my belly band at all. I felt great. Then there were other days this week where I had to wear my belly band. We were working a lot on the house, cleaning it up and um, I had to wear it every evening. And so it just kind of depends, I guess, how active I am during the day. The belly band does seem to help my back here and there. My rib pain, not so much. Um, I definitely only feel the back pain when I'm sitting, um, but it does help to put a pillow behind my back. That does help, but I'm still just um, struggling with the back pain and the rib pain, but um, it's nothing to be concerned about. I think baby is just like taking up a lot of room. Baby is a lot more active lately. He is finally like getting his energy up. Still most active in the evening. And another reason why I usually can't fall back asleep at night is because whenever I wake up, baby's like going crazy. He's gonna have his days and nights mixed up. I just know it. Cause every evening as I'm trying to fall asleep, he's like rolling around like crazy in there. I wake up in the middle of the night, he's rolling around like crazy. He's just doing like all sorts of stuff. Then he gets the hiccups. Then he'll do hiccups and movements at the same time. It's like I don't get a break. He is crazy in there right now. I do feel like this week that my belly has dropped. It just seems lower to me, which is good. Like I think it just means that baby's like lowering into my pelvic bone area, like getting ready for birth. So I'm hoping that's the case. I did have my next doctor's appointment. My, well, it should have been 34 weeks, but I went at 33 weeks, my 33 week doctor's appointment. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about that. So I went into um, the building and all my appointments up until now, well, since coronavirus started, as soon as I would walk into the medical building, they took my temperature on my wrist. Um, and of course I had to be wearing a mask. This was the first time where I walked into the building. I was still wearing my mask because it is required in Columbus. Actually it's required in all of Ohio now. They just changed that. Anyway, I walked into the building and they did not scan me for my temperature. I just walked right in, went to the elevator and went straight up to my doctor's office. So that was different. Um, there also seemed to be a lot more activity in the building. There were lots of people around. I think things are just getting back to normal. People are getting their elective procedures done. Um, so that was different. When I got into my doctor's office, I checked in and they did take my temperature there. They took it on my forehead, which I was at like 96.3 and I think it was because it's so hot outside and I was like blasting the cool air on me. So I think 
that's why my temperature was so low, but I mean, who knows? Anyway, so I checked in um, and I went to do a urine sample and then again on my way back to the uh, waiting room, which actually it was really busy. Usually I go in the afternoons and it's dead, but this time I had a morning appointment and there were lots of people in the waiting room. I was actually very surprised. But anyway, on my way back to the waiting room, the nurse intercepted me and we just went straight into my appointment, which happens every time. It's awesome because I don't have to wait in the waiting room, no exposure, things like that. So they took my weight and I think according to their records, I had only gained like 18 pounds or something, but I weigh myself at home naked. I don't know if that's too much information, but anyway, I want to know like my true weight. And I think last time I weighed myself, I was 24 pounds. But they are seeming to think I'm only like 18 pounds or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm on track and everything's good with my weight. They also took my blood pressure, which I was a little nervous because around this time during my first pregnancy was when my uh, blood pressure was skyrocketing with Grayson. And every appointment I was having really high blood pressure and they were worried about preeclampsia. It turned out I was just really nervous at all my appointments. And so now I make a conscious effort to like breathe deep and like not stress myself out and so I was making sure I was doing that. They took my blood pressure and it was even lower than last time. It was like 118 over something. So it was awesome. I was feeling so good about that. And so I went into my room, waited for my doctor and my doctor came in and it was super fast. Um, we measured my belly. I'm measuring right on track. So that's great. We listened to the heartbeat and baby's heartbeat was 152 which was a great heartbeat. I think last time it was 150, so he's very consistent. And we just, she asked me if I had any new symptoms. I just told her it's just still like my back pain. Um, and I'm just tired because I'm just not sleeping very well. And she was like, it's very normal. <laughs> but she was just telling me like, you're just very average, very normal, very normal pregnancy, like nothing to worry about. And I was like, I mean, that's good. That's what you want is to be a normal average pregnancy. So. She was happy where I was at. I'm happy where I'm at. Um, she thinks this baby's probably going to be very similar to Grayson, like same size. And who knows if he'll come early or on time or late or whatever, but it's just measuring on track just like Grayson was, which is awesome. So we um, made an appointment for me to come back in two weeks for my 36 week doctor's appointment. That next appointment, I will be getting a um, the group test where they swab you which I'm not looking forward to that because I have to undress for that and then they will also be checking to make sure that baby is head down she's like looking at you I can definitely tell like that you dropped and like he does seem lower she was like so if I had to guess I would guess that he is head down but they will check like for sure during that appointment so that'll be a fun appointment this one was pretty boring and not a lot happened. I swear the whole appointment was like 10 minutes. They get me in and out so fast, which I love that about that doctor's office. It was so fast that I went back to the front desk to schedule for um, the, my next appointment. And the nurse looked at me and she, or the receptionist looked at me and she was like, didn't I just see you? Didn't you just go back? And I was like, yeah, I'm already done. <laughs> so she was like, wow, that was super fast. So yeah, I love that doctor's office, I love my doctor. So I had a great appointment. My sister was able to watch Grayson for me, which was super nice because I can't bring anyone with me due to coronavirus. Um, the policies are still the same right now. No visitors, masks, you know, all that good stuff. But um, Anthony will still be there with me, so that's all I need. So all in all, it was a good appointment. I've been really hungry lately. I've been eating a lot so that's good I mean you need to eat a lot but really just mostly I'm just thirsty I have noticed that like I get fatigued very easily whenever I'm walking around I have noticed my heart beating really fast when I'm like going up and down the stairs or if I'm like doing a lot of walking around and then I sit down like I can just feel my heart rate really high so I think it's just I'm pumping a lot of blood for me and for baby and so it's just a lot on my body. Sometimes my belly will feel really uncomfortable. It just keeps stretching and I'm at that point where like I can't get much bigger. Like I'm just huge and my belly's really stretching. One night I was having such a hard time. Well most nights I have such a hard time getting comfy. Like my belly like just trying to like prop it with a pillow underneath it. 
just trying to get into a nice position. I will show you guys my belly. Okay, here is my belly. I feel huge. No hiding the bump. <laughs> But I don't know, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do I look like I dropped or do I look the same? I feel like when I look down, like, it looks like I've dropped, but that's just me. I really haven't had any cravings this pregnancy. Last pregnancy with Grayson, I had very minimal cravings. I really wanted root beer, I really wanted mac and cheese, um, different stuff like that. With this pregnancy, I've not really had a single, like, craving I don't feel like I just crave a lot of like sweets in general but that's really it like nothing specific that I'm like I have to have all the time so it's just kind of funny like how each pregnancy is different I guess but I guess I'm just not much of a cravings person with my pregnancies I'm still feeling pretty emotional my moods can be very up and down lately especially with all the stress from trying to get our house ready thinking about moving, packing, all this stuff. It's just like a very stressful time in my life. And um, it's stressful because since we're getting ready to sell our house and move, I'm like, do I really wanna buy all this stuff for the new baby? If we're just gonna end up moving, I might as well wait. But then it's like, how long is it gonna take us to move? Like it's gonna take us a while to find a house. And so it's like, I don't wanna have the baby and then come home to nothing. So it's just really hard trying to balance everything right now. We picked like the worst time ever to like move and do all this, but the home loan interest rate is just so good. We just can't pass it up. <laughs> so I think that's gonna be all for this video. Um, tune in next week, I'll have more symptoms and um, more things to tell you about. We'll see how big baby gets next week. Um, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!